I'm here with Peter Wright, Executive Director of Bass Metals, an emerging uh, player in the battery metals markets, history in graphite, um, rapidly evolving into uh, other strategic commodities. Pete, thanks for your time. Why should investors have a look at Bass? Uh, I suppose from the outset, so we are looking at what we see as really compelling fundamentals in graphite and lithium in particular. Um, we're not new to the game. We produce for 20 months at Graphmata, which we 100% own. Um, we produce without penalty or rejection for 20 months, sold into every major market. Those graphite concentrates cover everything from graphene to um, battery anode material. Well, what we're trying to do is leverage off that and the experience within the company and offer a comprehensive exposure to what we see as several commodities offering really compelling long-term fundamental attraction. Um, there's almost a, well, there is a consensus now with major investment banks that graphite and lithium are heading into enduring deficits. So beyond Graphmata, we are seeking to build out a lithium business within Bass. We've made a start there. We've bought or purchased an option to buy the San Jorge Lithium Brine Project and the Lithium Triangle in Argentina. What we haven't mentioned, we should more in public, is uh, Rick Anthony, our chairman, has been commercially involved with Oracobra in Argentina since inception over the last 15 years to the $5 billion company that it is now. We've recently appointed James Brown as an NED who had a critical involvement as MD of Altura, commissioning the Pilgangora hard rock plant in Western Australia. So along with that and the great metallurgical results we got from production never having had a tonne penalised or rejected, we're ideally placed to do advanced materials as well. So we've signed an agreement with Swinburne which kicks off over the next few weeks, looking for a lot of um, news and updates there. We'll get a, we've got our hands on San Jorge now, so we'll begin a reasonably comprehensive program at San Jorge, and we'll continue as we have at Grafmada, inclusive of looking at offtakes for stage two. We've taken the resource from five million tonnes to 20. It's a commercially proven resource that makes clean concentrates. So <clears throat> I suppose we're just looking to give investors that comprehensive exposure to lithium, graphite and advanced materials and we see ourselves as reasonably well placed to do that. Terrific, you've got a bit going on there. Um, San Jorge, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, what's on the agenda there and the, the scope of the opportunity? Absolutely, so we've got 100% of a sailor there. I believe it's the best part of 2,800 hectares. It's in commercial proximity to, it's in the middle of the lithium triangle, several operating prolific mines there. It's a prolific province itself. Our chairman's been operating over there for the past 15 years in a commercial capacity. So we see there a lot of opportunity there compared to some of the listed companies who have brine assets in South America. We're looking at an initial geochemistry, geophysics and some hopefully some auger drilling this year to get a sense of what's there. But you know it's a significant altitude, it's a salt dish, Salar is Spanish for salt lake or salt dish. So we're really confident and really encouraged um, to start to start at San Jorge. Terrific, thank you. And um, to finish off, uh, the next major catalyst investors should should watch for? The next major catalyst, I think there's several, but um, yeah, we're working towards offtake agreements at Grafmata. Um, as I said, the formal process with Swinburne kicks off over the next few weeks. Uh, there's a mandated news flow with that, and we're hoping to get feet on the ground really quickly at San Jorge. So from that will come a pretty significant news flow for investors. Yep. Terrific. Love a very active junior company. Peter, thanks for your time and, and all the best. No problems at all. And yeah, Morgan's have been with us from the start. So it's great to be here with Morgan's and continue to work with Morgan's moving forward.